I don't know if you know anybody that you're concerned that they're not getting prepared for whatever might happen in their life, or if you're just getting started on the preparedness trail and the preparedness mindset. But if you're in either one of those cases, I'd like to personally recommend this book. This is actually an early release copy of the book. It was originally called Practical Prepper. The current copy is called Provident Prepper. Both titles are really applicable. But whatever the book is called, Kyleen and Jonathan Jones have done an excellent job in making preparedness simple. Earlier this morning, I was just flipping through this book, and you may wonder, how do people who are at my level of preparedness get to where they are? Well, first of all, they've got to get started. They need to recognize that there is a problem and then look for a solution. And that's really the kind of the steps that Kyleen and Jonathan walk you through in this book. You could give this book to somebody and they would not be offended. It's easy reading. It's not in your face. They use small words so I can understand it. It's just a great book, well laid out. There are a lot of preparedness books out there. This is one of the very best I've come across. They've really done a good job in laying this out. And they're not here promoting products. They're not here to sell you different products. They give you several different options when they talk about products. If I have time in this video, I'll go over that. But just looking at the contents here, it's really a straightforward step-by-step -step process that they take you through. Where do I begin? What are the odds of something happening to me? Uh, do I want to survive or thrive? What's our family emergency plan? Do we have a survival kit? What about communications? Uh, what about water storage? And they go over some of the myths about water storage. The next chapter is also very important, water disinfection and purification. Actually, recently I had an opportunity to listen to Kyleen give a presentation on water storage and disinfection. I'll upload that video here for you. Sanitation, key issue. They talk about how to have an effective food storage plan. Uh, fuel safety, emergency lighting, emergency heating, emergency cooking. All of these things are really important and they cover them very well and, and give you many different options so that you can find one that fits your situation. Shelter, keeping cool, home protection, security, personal safety, medical, community, which is often overlooked. No man is an island, especially in preparedness. Financial and legal. So now what? So they bring it all the way back around to where they get started. They have a really great way of writing. And one of the fun things that they do is they start out in the first chapter talking about three different kinds of people who kind of avoid the preparedness situation. They have target painters, rat racers, and excuse slayers. It's hilarious. I don't know if you can read it in the video, but when you get your copy, make sure you flip through that first section because it's, uh, it's really well written. At any rate, pick up a copy yourself. Again, I'll have a link below to Kyleen and Jonathan's book. You won't be disappointed. This is a great gift any time of year, but I would encourage you to get one sooner than later simply to help other people get started down the path of preparedness. The more people you can help get prepared, especially in your family and your neighborhood, the less number of people you have to take care of. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if ye are prepared, ye shall not fear. This is a great book on common sense preparedness that anybody and everybody can benefit from.